Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tony G. You're watching 1526 Barbecue. Today we're going to review Life Do's Portable Barbecue Grill. Check it out. Alright, so the folks over at Life Do were kind enough to send me one of these grills for my honest review. So that's what we're going to do today. Let's crack open this case and see what comes inside. There it is. Alright, so I've seen a couple videos on this already. I think that's going to be the bottom, like ash grate or charcoal grate. Looks like it's going to be our cooking surface. Uh, this is one of the side panels, or no, one of the, the long panels, I guess. There's the other. They sit like that. That's pretty cool. It's a side panel. It's got their logo cut in. Alright, so to assemble this, uh, there's no instructions. I think that's good because it seems to be fairly straightforward. You'd use this bottom pan if you're um, using the product somewhere where you don't want the coals and ashes to hit the floor. So that goes first. You take one of these shorter ends and then one of the longer ends. Now you got two options of where you can place it. You can go wide or you can go a little less wide. We'll start there today. All right. So that's half of it. All right, we essentially got the grill built. And you'd put this smaller grate down at the bottom there. That's where your charcoal or wood or you know whatever you're using to produce produce heat would go. And then I need to cut these guys off here. Actually, there you go. You get three of these. I call them support arms. You're gonna want to place those in these slots. And then your cooking grate goes right on top. So I think that's a pretty, I mean, it's pretty sound. It's not gonna fall anywhere. Really sturdy. It's a pretty cool little grill. I like it. I think I'm gonna have a bag here. Oh, great. A carrying bag. says life do every user is our designer it's actually really interesting that they put that right in their bag uh, one of the main things that they talk about over at life do is their u rod approach to to designing their product uh, u rod stands for you are our designer i mean they kind of basically say the same thing right there on the bag so that's pretty cool <clears throat> So I like the way the cooking grate sits here. If you notice this, uh, this, if you notice this length of uh, metal rod here sits just below the surface here, so you can't really knock it off that way. And sliding it left to right also provides some resistance. You can push it a little too hard and go off, but um, it's it's pretty tight in there. I like it. Something else to note is there is two settings. So I have it on the, we'll say narrower setting for the top. You could use these slots here and make it wider. Let's take a look and see what that looks like. All 
All right, so let's adjust this to the wider setting. So there's the wider setting. We'll put back our coal grate. Sits pretty comfortably in there. We'll reinsert some of these. Now the reason why they are detachable like that is probably for two reasons. A, you can take it apart, move it around, and B, you can position them in different settings. So let's say you knew you just wanted to boil some water if you're out camping and you're making some coffee or some tea. You can put all your coals under here and put a big heavy cast iron pot right there. And those three rods will support the weight of it, no problem. I'm gonna go ahead and spread them back out for my demonstration. And we put this on. All right, so you can see we just moved it to the wider set points for each of the uh, side panels here. And that creates a much wider surface. Now I think this would be ideal if you're doing something that you think would take a little longer to cook. I don't know what you'd really be doing in terms of camping with a long cook, but this leaves it open so you could uh, reach the coals in the bottom and maybe add some more fuel down there if you need to. I'm really excited to try this thing out. All right, let's take it apart and see how well it goes back in the bag. All right, so these pieces are, oh, they fit perfectly that way. There we go. All right, I think that's pretty cool. I like that it all fits right back into that, that pan. That should make it pretty easy to slide into this bag. It's does it's got some weight to it, but... I got it in there vertically. Not sure it'll fit horizontally, but let's give it a try. Oh yeah, much better that way. <laughs> All right, it's ready to go. Pack this in the car, take it wherever you want. All right, so my wife and I were heading on vacation to Wikiwachi Springs in Florida, and I thought it'd be a great time to bring the Life Do portable grill with me to test it out. As you can see here, this grill is so compact, it really fits in any space. Easily fits here where you see me putting it in the video, but then I thought maybe I can slide it in between the cooler and that uh, type of box, so I gave that a try too. Here's what it looks like packed in there. Again, so compact, you could really fit this anywhere. All 
All right, so here we are on vacation. I got my life to set up with the wider setting. I'm gonna add some charcoal, add a little makeshift fire starter that I made, and give the charcoal some time to catch. While that charcoal is trying to catch fire, let's give you a glance here of, of where we were. We spent five days on the river here. Did a lot of kayaking, saw some manatees, I did some fishing, and uh, we even rented a boat for a day. It was a lot of fun. We did stay in this throwback 70s trailer. It wasn't the nicest, but, you know, we made do. It was good. All right, we're going to throw this bone-in ribeye. Some folks call it a cowboy steak on the life do as our test. Now, as I mentioned during the unboxing, the grates uh, do a really good job of not sliding left to right uh, due to the sidewalls, but every time I went to flip that steak, the grates would try to slide off, so I'd have to hold it with one hand while I flip the uh, steak. So an improvement I think you folks can do over at Life2 is just adding some slots to the, the side panels, the, the ones that have Life2 logo cut into them. So that way the grates can sit into that slot, and that way they're locked in and don't move around. All right, while this steak is finishing off, I'm going to go ahead and give this, uh, this fishing thing here another try. All right, and here is our finished cowboy steak. Nice grill marks. It's very juicy. Let's cut it open. All right, folks, if you are a camper or find yourself doing some road trips, I recommend this grill. I'll have a link down below in the description and a coupon code to save you a little bit of money. Thanks for watching.